Hi, I'm, I'm Jessica. I am Move to Amends program director. Um, I have been doing this work uh, for close to eight years now. And um, in that time, I've seen a lot in terms of political moments, um, cultural shifting, corporate power evolving and adapting, political parties manipulating, swells in the movement, stuff like that. Um, but actually I'm going to get personal for a moment here about something else that's happened in those eight years that I think demonstrates why this work matters so much to me. Um, I'm from Northern California. Uh, three years ago, I was living in Los Angeles and I was visiting Sacramento for a gathering of Move to Amend national team. That's the board and staff um, that you're meeting today. So we're a small and very close-knit group uh, who has been tracking and resisting the impact of corporate power for a long time together. Um, and we were gathering to discuss that and to strategize for the next year of amendment work. Um, after this meeting, I had plans to drive two hours north to visit my family in my hometown, a place called Paradise, California. Um, November 8th was the first day of the long weekend meeting. And I got a call from my little sister in a panic telling me that the town was burning down. Um, she was gathering family and dogs and documents and trying to get out. Uh, next was my mother who called, who was driving through flames and a phone call that I think still haunts many of us um, on this team. They were there with me receiving this. Um, my mom and sister survived and we learned a few days later that my dad and grandparents did as well. Um, what would come to be known as the campfire, which was the deadliest fire in California history, killed 86 of my community members that day. Um, and in my heart and mind, this was a mass murder by one of the most powerful energy monopolies in the state. Pacific Gas and Electric Company is a for-profit corporation which has monopolized power in much of California. This fire was started by unmaintenanced PG&E transmission lines sparking fire where PG&E was supposed to have trimmed back vegetation. Um, and of course, it can't be separated from the conditions created by climate collapse, um, perpetrated by powerful corporations as well. The kindling was corporate destruction of the planet, and the spark was PG&E using faulty equipment and cutting costs in order to maximize profits. So last year, the company's CEO, William Johnson, pleaded guilty on behalf of PG&E in criminal court to 84 counts of involuntary manslaughter in front of the family of those victims. He then retired, which sounds nice. Uh, PG&E enjoys the 14th Amendment in this country. Um, it has constitutional rights and it has the money to assert them. In the state of California, voluntary manslaughter is typically punishable by two to four years of incarceration. So by estimates, if like an actual person rather than a corporation was found responsible for this, they'd be facing 170 years in prison. Um, instead, the judge said that the court's sentencing options were limited because of the corporate structure and the California law that sets the maximum manslaughter by corporation fine at $10,000 per human being. And it's important to note that this is not the first time people have been burned out and chased out of their homes on Concow and Mountain Maidu land. Corporate power is a tool of oppression and the way corporations wield it against people and planet is a way of colonization. And there's no splitting hairs about that. I'm sharing the story with you, even though it's a hard one and not the most cheery, um, because I wanna emphasize that this work is so much more than just getting money out of politics and rallying around candidates. This is a long fight and it relates to things much more sacred than electoral politics. Um, a lot of people lost their everything that day. Hundred, uh, nearly 100 people were killed and some of them got a little bit of money, but a lot of them are still sleeping on the streets of nearby towns. And the thing is, there's no justice in a case like this, and it certainly wouldn't come in the form of money or incarceration. Um, but the injustice is so deeply rooted in the unchecked power of large corporations and their constitutional rights. And getting money out of politics isn't enough here because money in politics certainly, certainly plays a role in this situation. But without abolishing corporate constitutional rights, PG&E gets to murder our hometowns with zero accountability. And Move to Amend is the only organization fighting to dismantle corporate constitutional rights. It's incredibly important work, and as you might have guessed, uh, doesn't get funded by political parties or corporate sponsors or those who benefit from the status quo. It takes all of us who can't afford to hire a team of lawyers and lobbyists and fixers to create and assert rights for us. It's going to take us to make sure this work can happen. So um, thank you for giving me 
uh, for giving me the opportunity to get a little bit personal. And thank you for giving what you can to move to amend. I promise that we steward your money responsibly and we use it effectively. Uh, thanks again so much. Um,